Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Chica Trinice. And today guys, this portion of the video has a sponsor by Alt Fragrances. I know you guys have heard of them. They are a clean, fresh, affordable fragrance that you can get instead of the overpriced brands that you're getting now that you normally see inside the malls. Um, so I want to show you the two that I received. I received these during this storm we just had here in Texas. So it comes in this bubble wrap. That's what it came in, it was pretty secure. It came with this thank you card. It says, Alt, thank you. At Alt, we are working every day to reinvent the fragrance industry to prevent consumers and allow you to experience some of the most luxurious scents in the world, regardless of budget. We strip the marketing gimmicks, celebrity endorsements, and brand names no one can see anyway. So that inside your box, you will find a fragrance created from the finest, clean, sustainable, and sourced ingredients with an emphasis on a low environmental impact, accessibility, and responsibility. It gives a discount code here, which I will have down in the bottom of my um, description box. The boxes come like this. That was inside this package that I received today. And these are the fragrances, the two fragrances that I chose from their website. These are the two. This is the Duchess, which is the dupe to the Delina, which you guys may know it as Marley de Delina Perfume, as they like to say. And then this is the Cristal 23, which is the dupe to the Baccarat Rouge 540. Guys, so we're going to go ahead and review the Cristal 23 first. This one is a very sexy smell. And as you guys can see, this the cap is very secure. I'm going to pull it closer so you can see. If you can hear it, it's very snug fit. Now, when I say sexy smell, this is a modern day elegant. It's a soft smell. It is also sweet. I actually like the smell because I like sweet, soft smelling floral type scents and that's exactly what this perfume delivers. It smells exactly like the original. I did get this package. I just sprayed it here. Um, I love this smell. I did get this package um, two days ago so I had a chance to review them both by you know spraying them on, trying them on, seeing how long they last. These both of them last all day long. All day long. I promise you. And then the funny thing is, every time you wash your hands, it, you know, you do wash your wrists. I don't know if you guys do that, but you need to wash your wrists too. That smell doesn't come off that easy. It really doesn't. So, very good scent. Now, for the <laughs> Cristal 23, for the Alt Fragrance Cristal 23, which is the Baccarat 540. Definitely a high quality, classy scent. It is sophisticated and unique for sure. I'm not gonna take that away. This scent has layers to it, serious layers to it. The first part about this is this scent is extremely strong when you spray it on. I'm not going to spray it on now because I just sprayed this one, which is my favorite. Um, but I can tell you, this scent is very strong for the Baccarat. This is a unisex. Um, fragrance so I, I'm assuming that's why it's so strong it comes across as a musky and then synthetic smell then I noticed like within a couple of hours of you know having it on it layered off and it went into like a flowery smell and I'm like huh that's interesting so it toned down a level and then later on that day I'm like smell I'm like okay is that and I'm smelling it and I'm like, okay, so it has another layer to it. This thing has layers, guys. Um, then it started smelling like a burnt, uh, like burnt cinnamon sugar type smell. That's what it, that's my opinion of what it started to smell like. Um, but it was like a warmth smell. So it wasn't a bad smell. It's not a bad fragrance. It's just too strong for me so I personally can't um, yeah I cannot wear that perfume but I definitely strongly suggest 
the Duchess if you are into sweet smells, if you are into unisex perfumes or anything of that nature, or you like something that's a little bit more stronger than this what it is. But I, nevertheless, both of them carry the scent all day, which is perfect because a lot of the most expensive perfumes that's $300, $400, $500, they don't even last that long. So you get the same thing, the same exact smell for a fraction of the price on all fragrance website that you guys would click down the link below this goes for uh, $35 for the Cristal number 23 and for the Duchess it goes for $59 I do offer alternatives for payment so you can do the payment arrangements if you don't have it all at one time so there is something on the website for everyone whether you don't like neither one of these they have tons of different perfumes that they have um, duplicated and made out for you guys and they also have a suggestion that I like that I noticed on the website that if you notice a perfume that's not on there that you would like them to recreate for you you can send them a suggestion and they can do that for you too so isn't that really cool so guys yes take the time click on my link shop the website see what you can find make sure you use my discount code that way they know that I sent you over and happy shopping guys Let's stay smelling good, but let's make sure we stay on Alt's model that they have. Smell your best for less. I said it again. Smell your best for less. We all need to smell that way. Um, so thanks again for watching. Thanks again, Alt Fragrances, for sponsoring this video. And now, guys, let's go on to our vlog. Hey, guys. Good morning. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Sheikha Trinise. If you like the content I'm pushing out, go ahead and feel free and like, comment, and subscribe. I'm always pushing out new stuff. I also do cooking. You name it. The works. I do it all. Anyways, guys, so... Sorry. I needed to clear my throat about what I'm about to talk about, honey. Let me tell you. I went to Starbucks this morning because I was being lazy and I did not want to prepare my own breakfast which is what I normally do so I went and got the normal the grilled cheese as you see this grilled cheese is still in this this wrapping I don't know who made my grilled cheese today do they put the name on here who makes it no it doesn't tell you who did this this was not grilled cheese <laughs> this was cold cheese now you know a lot of people don't know that Starbucks, everything comes frozen. It comes already in a packet and they just stick it in a little microwave and warm it up and put it in a little thing and send it out the window or to the, the counter. So I'm biting into this and I'm like, okay, the first part was crispy. And then all of a sudden I get down to the middle. Guys, can you see that? It's frozen. Hey, come on now. So nobody knew that you gave me a frozen grilled cheese sandwich. Nobody knew that? By the time I get back over there, it's gonna be defrosted between my heater being on because it's so cold outside to, oh, I'm so disgusted. See, that's why you need to make your own breakfast in the morning so you don't have these type of problems happen, you see? That was a lesson learned. So I'm going to, today, I know I have some running around to do I know I have a sponsor, sponsor I need to, um, a sponsor I need to record for, which I'm so happy I'm starting to get sponsorships. That is so cool, right? Um, but yeah, so it may be in this video. If it's, um, if I have time, it should be in this video that's going to be uploaded. Also, Best Day and I need to go have lunch because I am super proud of the work that my bestie is doing my bestie is doing a game changer thing when i meet up with him today i'll let him talk to you guys about it if he wants to discuss it but it's not my place to tell you guys about it i just think it's so cool that he has something that's cooking in the works and it's going to be great so yeah guys i'm getting ready to roll on out and continue my little um running around i guess you could say now i want to talk about these eyebrows so i need to go and get my eyebrows shaped as you guys can see they're you know i don't grow a lot of hair but when they do grow in they get all bushy and wild so i just did what i could do and you know we'll just go from there so yeah we'll figure this out 
So, but I'm going to pick you guys back up a little bit later. And we'll see if I can get to the salon today to get these eyebrows taken care of, tamed, because they, they're looking horrible. But yeah, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. somewhat cleared out somewhat so now I have to go to my other storage sometime tonight I'm gonna get over there or first thing in the morning I don't know and I need to go ahead and start removing that stuff out of there because I think I told you guys about the situation when I felt like I was being ripped off from public storage so yeah it happened again this time I got charged hundred and sixty dollars for the storage so I'm like, okay, so how is this happening that the numbers just keep changing and yeah, it's, it's, it's becoming too much. So I went ahead and bit the bullet to clean out the storage that has plenty of room in it. I just had stuff tossed all over the doggone place in there. So I think I made enough room that I could be able to put this stuff in there, but I still need to go through that a little bit better and clean that out as well. Uh, right now I'm just driving and watching I think she calls up Najee. Najee. I just found her. Oh my gosh, I really like her. She's so adorable. She's a young girl. But, you know, she's she's adorable. I love it already. So I'm tuned in to her um, channel, watching it now while I'm driving. And yes, I have TVs in my truck, people. So yes, I can see it without having to, you know, look all over the place. But I'm a very good driver. So yeah. That's what I'm currently doing right now. I'm on my way to go and get something to eat at the moment. So, I hope I can get to that storage. Let's see. storage with the last little bit of stuff we got from public storage today so it's been a very productive day it is now seven o'clock we got up at 3 30 we got the dogs taken care of took a shower got dressed um cooked breakfast early this morning actually but now i think i need something else to eat because i think your girl has burned out every piece of calories she had left in her body okay so this is the last little bit of stuff i have just gotta throw this stuff in there. That was from the restaurant. The tent, the table. There's a lot more other crap in this here too. Every time you do an event, you have to have your own trash can and stuff. So now, don't judge me on my storage, okay? I just threw this shit in here. But I made room for it. This is a very big storage. This could be a room, child. That's how big this thing is. 
Don't judge me. Ta ta. Yeah, girl. Boxes everywhere. Everywhere. Wherever it can fit, <laughs> it's in there. I mean, like, everything. I mean, you name it, it's in here, Lord. Luckily, I don't have to look for none of this stuff no time soon. Yes, there is furniture in here as well because I do do Airbnb, so there is couches in here. If I ever need to get another Airbnb, I would just simply get these couches out, the tables, the, all that other stuff that's in here. Get it steam clean and not put it into my next unit. But that's another video for another time when I decide to acquire another property. But yeah, let me go ahead and get the last little bit of stuff in here so I can go home and I can eat. What? Do you want this? It's bacon. It's bacon. All right. One for you. Take it and go. You're welcome. You can't even open your mouth all the way to get this. <laughs> and they're off. so not too bad and um, yeah just an extra set of little money when you want a little extra couple of dollars this is what you can do As you see the app is busy so there's a lot going on right now I don't know if you can see that but it says very busy so yeah I'm just collecting some of the coins that's available people out here tipping and why not you know ain't nothing else to do today ain't no it's first of all this is the first day that's not freezing here in texas so i'm really happy about that so but yeah just thought i could check in with you guys and let you guys know what i'm doing today i'll bring you guys along so you can see the activities that come with this foolishness okay guys so i got my order this is the halal chicken this first delivery uh, this is a, I think this was a $12.50 $12 um, delivery. So $12.50 delivery. And the miles on this one is 2.5 miles. So that's not bad. You always want to consider the miles. So I always look at my rule of thumb is $2 per mile. This is clearly over $2 a mile. That means the customer did tip clearly because this is not DoorDash <laughs> um, DoorDash has a base pay but yeah if if it was you know like five dollars or something like that then I would know that was just strictly DoorDash and that wasn't a tip on there um, or it's possible it could have been a tip just a dollar but this is twelve fifty, I believe so there is a tip on here the customer actually did tip and tipped it quite quite enough for this order to be twelve fifty. so yep yeah, on my way to go and deliver that now as we speak as you can see okay so I just picked up 
chicken from Lane's Chicken Fingers. So I have drinks. And as you see, I have that over here. I just turned on my heater because the temperature is dropping. This one is, let me see. This one is 1550, 3.5 miles. Remember, $2 a mile. So this one is over $2 a mile. So I'm going to go ahead and deliver this one. Like I said, the temperature is dropping. So I think I might be heading home because I don't like cold air. So yeah, but we'll see if I get another one that sounds reasonable. I might indulge just a little bit longer, but I don't think so. I don't think so. It's not that big of a deal. Well, yeah, so here we are on our way to the next delivery. Okay, crew. So, I picked up another order. This order is $20. The sun has went down, so I have my lights on in here so you guys can see me. Um, this is at Kenny's Burger and Grill. This is in Frisco. Um, yeah, $20 order. The um, distance on this one is... 3.7 miles so it's eight minutes away um just delivering to an apartment complex so she did a really big tip on this i got to say sometimes when you pick up people food it stinks so bad oh my god it really do stink she got let me tell you what's in here honey because it's driving me nuts it's a oh the bag turned the other direction i seen that it said brisket baby it's nasty it, it smells horrible I don't know what it is with Texas people and brisket, but they love them some brisket. Anyways, let me put this camera down and head on over to this next lo location. Okay guys, so next order is to Chipotle. But let me explain to you what transpired between the last delivery I just did, um, which was the Kenny's Burger and the Steakhouse. And I told you about that old nasty stank food that they had in there. Oh, it's still stinking up my truck literally right now. Anyways, after delivering that, I received a request to pick up at 7-Eleven, but it told me it was an alcohol order. Now, it was only going to be for $8 and it was really only two miles to deliver it. But I have an issue with these particular orders. Now, if it was a little bit more money, I probably would have went on ahead and did it. But let me tell you why I have an issue with these orders. These orders are annoying. Um, I have been flashed. I have been asked to come inside to have a good time with them. Um, I done had a man take his manhood and hold it in his hand and tell me can I handle it so with the alcohol orders they are a little you don't know what you're going to get now I did have one time it was a female she ordered some some beer but majority of the time is men and ladies if you are out here doing this um, DoorDash you have to think of your safety first these guys are perverts when I say perverts I mean real life per perverts um there was one that he scared me so bad he was a really big guy really buff what would have happened if I, if you know if i if he really wanted to take me he could have he could have just grabbed me you know i'm a small person and he was he looked like he was at least six six he was huge so um i have decided that i have stopped taking those orders um at night now during the daytime i don't mind i do it because at least I'm a little bit more aware of my surroundings. But at nighttime, no, ain't no freaking way. Ain't no way I'm going to do it. But then the next part about those um, alcohol orders is the part that makes it very annoying is that DoorDash doesn't have, um, they make you wait for the people to come to the door. And then of course you, gotta, you have to scan their IDs. Now that becomes a problem simply Oh, as you guys can see, we just made a Chipotle to go pick up this next order I got. 
simply because you have to skip you have to scan the order that's number one and then sometimes it doesn't scan whether you have the flash on or not and then you have to manually type all that crap in and then after all doing all that you have to do it in order you have to type in the customer's name and then you have to get the customer to sign the customers are always upset about that so keep that in mind let me run in here and get this order this order is for this order is for Morgan I'll be right back I hope he's staying his lane. Okay, so now I just um, picked up from Payway. I don't want to turn my light on just yet because I think I got the police behind me. Not for sure, but well, well, yeah. So it was Payway. I picked up from Payway. That's the bag over there. This order is fifteen dollars and it is six miles, six point seven miles to be exact. The customer had put in that they wanted to make sure that they was able to get all of the sauces that they asked for. They specified that last time they didn't get what they asked for. So they was very precise and wanted six chili sauces, three of some other type of sauce, some extra noodle sauce, all type of crap I never heard of. You know, so I went and tried to get some assistance from the attendant and this is what you run into. They're like, oh, it's all there unfortunately it wasn't all there so i took the time out to count the packs myself they wasn't there she put one one sauce a piece in there now that right there would piss somebody off especially if that's what they asked for and he specifically asked for three um fortune cookies she only gave him one of that as well it also asked for chopsticks she didn't give him no chopsticks no napkins and they also said that on the order that he's supposed to have got all of that now the only reason why i was able to check that order was because as you see the bag was not sealed up so by the bag not being sealed up I was able to look in it and of course the customer asked me to look in other time other than that I never look into the bags I never check the bags because normally the bags are taped up and it relinquished us from the responsibility so you don't have to worry about that now um what's I gonna tell you oh like I said I had did did um cancel like four orders to 7-eleven and then it was a couple of others that was coming through they was just too small of an order for me personally to go and pick up so I don't do small orders like I said it has to make sense for you to pick up if you're going to do this this is considered an independent contractor this is not a job DoorDash is not your employer so I know a lot of people take that and they think that oh you have a job no this is a contract thing situation you're an independent contractor you work for yourself you pay for your own gas you pay for your own insurance you pay for everything DoorDash doesn't give you anything anything and they barely want to pay you so you need to be careful about what you pick up and how you pick it up but anyways let me get to my next delivery and I'll be back <laughs> 